Hi guys, this is Ross and Scott here from Golden Grey Soccer Academy. What we're going to do today is our second session for Youth Football Scotland. Okay, and today we're going to be focusing on our control of the ball. Okay, so guys, for our warm up, we're going to do a simple reaction game. So all you require here to start with is two cones as long as they're different colours. So Scott's going to show us to start. All we're going to do is listen for the commands. So if I say jump, you're going to jump, touch the ground with your right hand, your right hand, left hand, left hand, so on. So you just follow the commands to start nice and simple, and we'll progress it from there. So you're ready, Scott? So all he's going to do to start with, he's going to be on his toes, okay? And I'm going to tell him to turn, you're just going to turn halfway. Turn, jump, right hand, left hand, white. And then when he hears a card cone, he's just going to run to that cone as fast as he can. It's just a reaction game. Once he's set, we'll go again, so he's on his toes again. Turn, turn, jump, right hand, left hand, touch your head, red, and then you just react just like that. Go again. With your toes, and jump, jump, turn, white. We'll do one more and then we'll progress in there. So we're just on our toes nice and lightly, and we're just looking for you to push off a wee burst of speed to the cone. Turn. Turn, white, and relax there. So, the wee progression for you now is we're just going to add in a ball. So, all Scott's going to do is this time is you're just going to do a bit of ball mastery. So, you can do whatever you like. So, you might do some toe taps, you might do some inside taps, whatever it feels like. And when he hears the colour this time, he's going to react. This time, though, the white cone is going to represent hips and the red cone is going to represent hearts. So, if he hears white or hips, he's going to go to white. Here's red or hearts, it's going to go to red. Okay, so give it a try. So, inside taps to start, you can do whatever you like, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And touch! He's going to leave the ball, or he can dribble to the cone with it. Either or not, it's fine. And go again. So, like that, you can dribble with the ball, you can just leave it there, whatever you feel happy doing. Different toe taps this time, so he's actually going to use a bottom of his feet this time. And hips! Just a wee speed. Once again, just keeping control of the ball as you dribble away. Right, we're not trying to kick the ball away and lose control. It's just a wee simple touch to the side. Maybe with the outside of the foot, perhaps that's probably the easiest part of the foot to use. And then a wee bust this speed. I'll be bust this speed. Ready? Hot. And you just dribble away again. Good. We'll do one more, and then we'll show you one more progression. Yeah, inside taps is his ball master there. Nice and close touches, watch what's happening there. We're not losing control of the ball. Alright, just small taps and inside their feet. And hit! Yes, there you go. Well done. Right, so we're going to add in one more progression. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two teams in our side now. So the green represents Celtic and the blue is going to represent Rangers. So we've got white and hips, green and Celtic. Red and hearts, blue and Rangers. So same idea, he's just going to do a bit of ball mastery and whenever he hears a team, he's just going to leave the ball this time and I want him just to burst past the cones as fast as he can. So there you go, two taps, inside taps, maybe there's a couple of drags to the ball to be as well. And Rangers! There he goes, and he just threw the cones, well done. Yeah, there you go, just another couple of taps to the ball to be there. Still keeping control of the ball. And hit! So he goes there, we go through the cones with the ball and back and look, not once he's got lost control of the ball there, he's got close control of the ball. We'll go two more times. There's another variation for you, your toe taps. Listen, whatever ball mastery you like, whatever you feel comfortable doing, you just do that. And Celtic! There he goes. Nice close control again, we'll do one more. Hit! And relax, and there you go. So there's your warm up. Loads of progressions you can do. You can always make it a wee competition. See how quickly you can get to the cone. See how many taps of the ball you can do while you're doing your ball mastery. You can do whatever. Go and have a bit of fun with it as long as you're warmed up. What we're going to do for our first drill, okay, all you need is four different coloured white coats, okay? So here, here we have a four by four box green, white, blue, and red, okay? So for our first progression, all we're going to do is you're going to have one person in the middle of the box, okay, on your toes. You're going to receive a pass. All you're looking to do is take your first touch toward the same colour, okay. So if Ross here shouts green, I'm going to take a good first touch 
out towards the green cone. Okay, we're going to start with a wee drag back. So a frost pass the end to me. Okay, we're going to take a positive first touch towards the green cone. I'm going to use the bottom of my foot, roll it back, into the middle of the box, pass it back up and reset. Okay, so I'm on my toes all the time. Wait. See my first touch, okay? It's towards the cone that Ross is saying. So that's what we're looking for. So wipe, go in. Good first touch. So we the opposite foot, drag back, back, and reset. Okay? Green. Good positive first touch, drag back, back into the box. Wipe. So again, make sure we're working both feet. Okay. In. Done and back in. Now we're going to add change the skills at the cones. Okay. So this time we're going to give you the option. So you can use a croif, you can use a drag back, you can use an outside chop. Okay. So he's going to pass that to me. In. In. This time outside chop, back into the middle. I have to start, start again. Okay, wait. Touch it in. Voice done. Back into the box. Pass it up. And you notice here when Scott actually does the skill is that he doesn't go too close to the cone. So we want to think of these cones as defenders. So when he goes to the cone or the defender, make sure that we're not bumping around the cone because if you do that, of course, the defender's tackling you. So think about the distances. Right? Don't go too far away from the defender, but don't go too close to the point that the defender's going to be able to tackle you. Right, here we go, Scott. Green. First touch goes his cone. Drive. Back in and reset. Done. Okay. Now this time we're going to add in a little progression. So this time we're going to bring the red and the blue into play. So Ross is going to pass the ball into me. Exactly the same for your green and white. Okay, but this time we go red and blue. So if Ross passes into me and he says red, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check off behind this line. Okay. I'm going to take my first touch outside of either side and it's going to be a longer pass back up to Ross. Okay, so go on in, as you can see one of the back ones. Red, I'm going to check off. I'm going to take a good first touch, round the outside and pass back up. Okay, now it's very important that you get your first touch outside the cone. Okay, if you can do it in one touch, even better. But if you have to take two, or maybe three, that's fine as long as you're in control of the ball. Okay? One, one coming off, my foot, open up, and back up. Okay, and then just return to the middle of the box. Green. And again, forward, forward, chop, back again. Right. Yeah. Touch out, back up. Okay? One thing that's important is when you're checking off, can you get a little check of the shoulder? Okay? It's very important that you know everything that's behind you. So when I'm checking off, can I get a look over the shoulder? Then I know what's behind me. I can take my touch out and pass it up. Okay? We'll do a couple more. Just another thing before we go there. Notice that Scott's using the big part of his foot. Now, that's easy to control the ball with. If I was to use the bottom of my foot like that, Usually what would happen is the ball's just going to roll onto my foot. So, use a big part of your foot, bigger part of your foot to control the ball. It means you're going to have a better chance of getting a good touch if you can control the ball. Right, so a couple more times. Let's now see if we can test Scott. We'll pass the ball nice and hard. See if you can get a good first touch. Blue! Can you up the intensity, okay? We'll put a little bit more pressure on the passes. Can you get back into the middle quicker, okay? Well done. Build two is a slight progression from what we've just done. So we're continuing to work on our theme, which is control. So we're thinking about how to control the ball properly, using the inside of our foot, making sure that we take a nice soft touch and that the ball's not bouncing away, and that we're keeping control. 
control of the ball. This time, we're going to add in the outside of the foot. Now, so we've worked on the inside of the foot, we're now going to work on the outside of the foot using the... So what's going to happen is to start, it's all going to happen is me and Scott are just going to pass the ball back and forward. So we've just begun small touches, take a touch if you like, small touches all we're after. We're looking just to keep control of the ball when we're passing it. And then when Scott shouts a colour, I'm going to move back behind the green coat. I'm then going to take the ball with the outside of the foot towards the side the colour's on and I'm going to dribble up, perform a wee skill and then get a shot at goal. So we'll go through nice and so it's over. So we're beginning with a small touches, just like that. If you want to add enough touch, we can do. Okay, when Scott shouts the colour, and blue, I'm going to move back. I go to the left first, outside of the foot, I dribble up and I might just perform a wee skill there. Right now, when it comes to shooting, you can use anything you like for the target. So if you've got a goal, yeah, use the goal. If you've maybe just got a water bottle, you can use that. If you've got a chair in your garden, you can try and pass the ball through the chair. Whatever you like, just use whatever is um, available. Within reason, of course, we're not going to use anything that's going to break. Just be careful whatever you use it. So we'll go through it again a wee bit quicker this time. So I'm on my toes, I receive the pass. Big part of my foot to control it. Inside of the foot, there we go, using both feet. And ready. So I move back, I go there, outside of the foot, I'm going to dribble forward, I'm going to go to the left side of the red cone, and then just shoot. So one thing to notice here, is if I'm going to the blue cone, I always start on the left side of the green cone, so I can push it away from the defender. If I'm going to the red cone, I start on the right side of the cone, and I push it away from the defender, and then I go forward at speed, go past the cone, and then I got a shot away nice and quick. So we'll do one more. So I'm on my toes, there we go, just controlling it. Same idea, we're still using that big part of the foot to control it. But there, and blue. So I move back, I'm at the left side, outside of the foot, away from the defender, the fast, small touches, a wee shimmy. So when we're dribbling towards the defender, make sure we keep the ball close. You'll notice one thing when Ross took his last touch there, right? When he played the ball up, and he's going to take it on the outside of his foot, was Ross standing square. No, he wasn't. He twisted his body, okay, so he was side on, and he was able then to bring that ball, ball across his body. Okay, so can you move your body so you're not square on? Can you get a little shake, drive it across, and then pass it back? Okay, so this time we're going to just progress it one more time. We're going to go back to what we were doing with the skills before, which was the uh, outside chop, a trolley turn. So, what's going to happen at this time? Same idea, we're just going to be bouncing it back and forward. Control it if you want, pass it back. Now this ball's got to stay nice under control. All right, we don't want the ball going all over the garden or whatever. Nice small touches. And it's red, so I'm going back. So I'm going to this time, outside of the foot, I'm going to dribble to the corner. I'm going to pretend to pass. I'm going to try to inside, way off the top, and then I'm going to go to score. Okay, simple as that. So we'll go through it again. So this time, Rather than performing like a wee fake or whatever it is you've done, I want you to go towards the cone as if you're passing it, and we're going to perform a toy turn inside. That then allows me to pass the ball to Scott, he's going to lay it off and I'm going to get a first time shot away again. Same idea, just use whatever you can, a garden chair, um, a water bottle, whatever you can, whatever you can use with a reason. So go again, just small touches, just like that, back and forward. And look, so I'm moving there, I'm on the left side of the cone, outside of the foot, I dribble up, I'm going to take the pass, back inside, into Scott, lay off. Simple. Alright, we'll do one more time. Let's see if we can finish with a good one. Here we go. So small touches, still keeping the ball under control. Nice short passes to each other. Here we go. So make sure you're using both feet for your passing as well, okay? And red, I move to the right side of the green cone, outside of the left foot. I'm going to pretend to pass, come back inside, play it off the eagle spot. And then just like that. So there we go. So once again, we're still working on our control. We're working the inside of the foot. Now we progress to the outside of the foot. And actually in between there, we actually use both parts of the feet. All right, so just keep it nice and simple. Think about the coaching points we've already spoke about inside of the foot. 
soft passes, soft touch, keeping the ball under control. And when you perform that skill, make sure it's done nice and quickly. And make sure you score plenty of goals, because that's what we're looking for. Right guys, okay. Well done up until now. So now we're going to finish with our last drill, which is going to be a sort of quick fire, uh, practice on our control and our shooting. Okay, so all you need is a little triangle. So we've got red and blue ones here that are quite close together. And we've got a green cone here, which is the passer, okay? Now me, as the uh, attacker, I'm going to be shooting to go behind me. So what we're looking for, okay, there's going to be a bounce pass. So I'm going to pass it, he's going to pass it to me. I'm going to either control it or I'm going to pass it back. Okay? Then, Ross is going to pass it into me and he's going to shout my colour again. So he's either going to say red or blue. Blue. We're looking for outside of your foot again. Can you get your body on the side? On the back. Okay? Or body on the side. Can you pass it into me? Spin. Me. And then you got a me. Now, to make it a wee bit more exciting, we're going to make a competition. So, time yourselves in one minute. Okay, how many times you can score a goal? So we're gonna do it, okay? And we're gonna set a little challenge for you. So are we ready? So it's gonna be a bounce pass up, back, then he's gonna play up to me with the colour. I wanna take my first touch that side, so get my body upside on. Good touch round the corner, allowing me to hit it first time. Okay, so I don't want that touch to be too hard, too soft. Okay? Ready? Ready? So I'll start a minute and count how many goals we can get and we'll see if we can set you a challenge, see if you can beat Scott. Are we ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Five you pass. Blue! There you go, that's one goal. Back he comes. Five you pass. Red! Good turn, then we go away from the defender. Two goals. You might keep control of that ball as you do it. Alright, we're looking to keep control of the ball. Blue! Oh, there's a new tester. Let me a bounce pass there, right? Forgot that. Yeah, you can see. It's more about smashing the ball as hard as you can. Just accuracy. Blue. Four. Four. Red. Five out of five. Look, make sure we're trying to avoid those cones of those other defenders once again. Blue. Angle on. Oh, right. Last one. Last one. Here we go. Blue. There we go. Nice. Oh, what was that? Six goals. Six goals. Six goals. Here we go. So. How many can you do? Ned. There's one other way you can do it. Okay. We're not going to do the challenge again, so I'm not good. So the other way is it's going to be up. Back, then whatever side Ross says, blue. Okay, I'm going to peel outside the cone, take my touch on my back foot, okay, so let the raw ball run across your body, inside, shoot the opposite foot. Okay, now, the control is very important, because you either have to take another two or three touches to get set to shoot, or you can take on first time. Okay, so try, both versions, see how many goals you can score in one minute. I think the target, what did we say, six to beat? Six to beat? Six to beat, there you go. So there's okay, your target slow. Score. And we've got one more trick, one for you to finish with. Okay. Now, in a minute, Ross would pass it up to me. We're we'll looking to see what type of turns you can do. So any type of control, I want, but it's got to be a sort of trick. Okay. So it could be anything as simple as yeah. Oh, the bounce pass. One. Yeah, I just pass it back. It's called. Anything as it. Okay. Or it could be something like yeah. So bounce pass again. You've got to be spinning them. Spin round. There you go. Okay. So we're looking so, for yeah. It's going. Try whatever you like, see if you can do better than Scotty. Express yourself and let's see your best attempts.